Alright everybody, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Welcome to picks number 6 to 10 of the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. In the previous videos you will have seen I watched the entire combine for the second year and basically what we're going to do today is watch the entire draft for the second year or at least what the NFL wants to show us. I love college football, I love American football, I love the fact that you can see a player in high school, you can follow them throughout college, you can see them in the combine, you can see them go to the draft, you can see them go through their whole entire professional football career. As a fan, the game of American football and how it is produced, how it's distributed, there's just nothing like it. There is nothing like it. There's nothing like the theatrics of a football documentary. There's nothing like... Yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop there. Guys, we're back for another video. Today's video, we're looking at picks number 6 to 10. Los Angeles Chargers are on the clock. When I think about the Los Angeles Chargers, I think about one player and one player only, and that is Keenan Allen. So let's see who these guys pick. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. With the sixth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Justin Herbert, quarterback, Oregon. Hmm. Quarterback. And there you see the reaction Shit, there he is. Eugene. What? I know all about Justin Herbert. One thing you won't have to worry about when you're talking about Justin Herbert, his ability to understand the playbook. He carried a GPA of over four while earning a general science degree with a focus in biology. Wow, yes. Okay, so he won that award for being the highest, the top football scholar in the country. And he's just gone the sixth pick of the 2020 NFL Draft. Justin Herbert. The third quarterback of the draft so far. Well, there's a lot to like about Justin He's Herbert a big today. guy, man. You've seen the big He's got a massive arm, too. He's got to push the ball down the field. He's got athleticism where he can work outside the pocket. So, I love the mix. You know, when you're a top 10 pick, you usually go to a team that's rebuilding. He gets to throw oh, a like Keenan Allen, move. Mike Williams. He's got Austin Eckler in the back. Oh, field. my God. I mean, look at that. He's got a good group of guys to build Do that in the NFL. You go down in history. Is getting the ball out quick. A lot of things that he threw, he seemed very measured, and he wasn't able to get the ball out quick. Can he do that at the next level is my biggest question, though. With the seventh pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, Carolina, Carolina Panthers select. Now, when I think about the Panthers, what do I think? Christian McCaffrey. I think Cam Newton. I'm thinking, what's going to happen with Cam Newton? This is going to be interesting. Who are they going to pick? Can't be a quarterback, surely. Panther select Derek Brown, defensive tackle, Auburn. Well, there you see Derek Brown. His teammates called him Baby Barack. One of his teammates, Marlon Davidson, referred to him as Channel 5 reporting live because he knew something about everything. And now, to me, when I watched him, the thing that jumped out to me, I thought he played with tremendous effort in, in every game that I watched. I saw him pursuing plays all the way across the field. He could really reset the line of scrimmage Dang. with his power. And I was fascinated to see what Matt Rule would do with this decision. His first pick, would he go Isaiah Simmons to get some speed and athleticism at the second level? He decided to go with a defensive lineman who could generate some of that interior pocket push. He did, he did well to hang on to that quarterback then. I thought, fire out, man, this guy. You don't want this guy swiping too close. That's a big arm coming through inside the division where you're going to have gone up against Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and Matt Ryan. So fascinating choice there. I love Derek Brown, Boog. With the eighth pick. All right, let me try and do something. I want to see the stats for Derek Brown, and I'm going to tell you exactly where I put him on a rugby field because his size looks immense. Oh, my Lord. He is 22. He's 148 kilograms. 148 kilograms at 196. Well, I honestly think he is just, he's, he's just too big. <laughs> he's too big for rugby. He's too big for a fucking rugby field. Um, no, he'd have to be in the forwards. He would be, depending on how mobile he is, he's six foot, six foot five at 148 kg. He's too tall for the front row. I'd say, fuck, do you put him at number eight? Just let him go wild off the back of a scrum? Yeah, number eight. 
in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Isaiah Simmons, linebacker, Clemson. There you go, top well, 10 pick. It is hard to fault anybody. Top 10 pick, baby. Isaiah Simmons. It's very true, Trey. I got a chance to see Derwin James doing the three nine for the last combo. couple of years, and you'll see him used in different the ways. The fastest linebacker ever recorded at the NFL Combine. On a week by week basis, and I think we're going to see, see his Isaiah speed in Simmons games. In that exact same way, because he can do so many different things. One week he might be lined up and covering George. Kittle. He is long and lean for a linebacker. I've got to say. Next week you might use him as a spy on Russell Wilson. You can blitz him from off the edge. You can even play him. In the deep middle third uh this guy can do so and you know and let's say a running back breaks that first line of defense right doesn't matter where simmons is going to be on the field he's going to turn and just motor after this guy he's probably going to be able to catch a fair few running backs from behind which is going to be a sight to see so many different things for a creative coordinator he's an outstanding prospect book with the ninth pick here we in go the 2020 nfl draft jacksonville jaguar select C.J. Henderson. C.J. Henderson. Back, Florida. Defensive back. Well, there you see C.J. Hmm. Henderson getting the phone call and realizing he is Let's not see how happy far is. away from where he played his college ball at the University of Florida. With the 10th pick in the 2020 NFL. No, I'm going to have to go back there. Of Jacksonville, my team. He's a cornerback. He got a running back scholarship offer from Auburn and West Virginia. He switched to cornerback as a senior in high school due to injuries. From Miami. He's from Miami, Florida. I like that. Okay. Um, what, I guess any player other than a running back, I, you know. Yeah. Of Florida with the 10th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Jedrick Wills, tackle, Alabama. I hope you like it, Fletcher. So the Browns. Well, I'm surprised that they oh, go. Oh, there he is. This guy. He's got a force. Fuck it. Oh my god. The offensive tackle for the Browns is faster than the quarterback. Can you believe that? Offensive line. Jedrick <laughs> Wells is off the board. Tua Tonga Vailoa called him the alpha male in the offensive line group for Alabama. Well, I think he's going to be the one making the move over to the left side with the Cleveland Browns. You'll keep Jack Conklin at right tackle because Jeffrey Wills has the athleticism to be able to match up with the speed elite rushers he's going to see on that left side without any help from a tight end. I'm he's excited to see this, man. Bender. He can really roll his I'm excited to see this Browns team. Game. He's this outstanding year. when he works up to the second level, but the Browns did not draft him for that. They draft him for what he could do as a pass protector to help keep Baker Mayfield upright so they can get a fair evaluation on him yes. going into the future. Yes. Mel, I don't know where you are, but for me, I thought day one as an NFL starter, Jedrick Wills was better equipped than any other tackle in this draft. He's he's definitely got the, the mobility. He's not gonna get he's not gonna get juked, put it that way, by a defensive end. He's going to be able to keep, you know, keep that shuffling feet like a basketball player. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That was fun. Picks number 6 to 10. Done. How many picks in a round? 30. 32. 32 picks a round. Okay, so we've got 22 more players to go of the first round. I hope you guys are enjoying. I've got my contact lenses in today. Are my eyes red? They're not actually looking too bad, are they? Usually when I put my contacts in, my eyes go all scratchy and red, but I think that was because I was in Alice Springs in the middle of the desert. It's such crystal clear, beautiful sky, but the air is filled with dust. So we come back here to New Zealand and my eyes just feel so much better. They feel so much nicer. I don't know why I'm talking about my eyes, but I am pleased to be here in New Zealand. I'm pleased to be back. So glad to be here. And I'm so glad to be sharing the 2020 NFL Draft with you. So if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, please do. All sorts of videos come out on this channel. You know, started with rugby, went to bodybuilding, did a bit of travel in there, went back to rugby, rugby league, American football, bit of basketball, bit of hockey, bit of lacrosse, bit of major league rugby, bit of frisbee, bit of UFC, bit of FIFA, bit of NBA, bit of Madden, and the list, my friends, goes on and on and on. So, with all that being said, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you back here for the next video where we check out pick numbers 11 to 22.
20. And the first team off the block is the New York Jets. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.